Here's a scripture that the Lord gave me, okay? James 5, verse 7. It says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waits for the precious fruit of the earth and has long patience for it until he receive the early and latter rain. Verse 8, Be you also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draws nigh. Okay, and um, I'm going to tell you this dream I had real quick. Okay, in this dream, I was walking out into a field of people. They were worshiping God. They, their hearts were open to God. They were pouring out everything, just like how the scriptures tell us um, the Lord seeks for true worshipers who worship him in spirit and truth. These people I knew were true worshipers. There was tons, thousands of people. They were just, oh, just their hearts bare before God, just worshiping him, just loving on him. Then all of a sudden, sudden a downpour came. I mean rain, the craziest heavy rain, just downpouring, saturating everyone and everybody was holding these umbrellas over their head. While they were worshiping they had the umbrellas. It's like they knew that this rain was coming, right? Hi Papa, love you. They knew this rain was coming so they had these umbrellas ready for this rain. And so as soon as the rain started saturating all of us in this big field, I began to prophesy under the Holy Spirit and the power of God overcame me. And I said, this is a sign that God has heard us and that he is bringing revival to America. Right after that, the scene shifts, and I'm, I'm encouraging people that have prayed, that have laid down their life, that have sacrificed time in their prayer closets, asking God for mercy, asking God to pour out again upon this nation, asking God for the latter rain, asking God for the glory to come, asking God for the awakening to come during this season, because who knows that our land has been dry? Who knows this world has been dry? The media's been dry. The music's been dry. Everything's kind of been dry, and these people need to have an awakening. They need to, they're thirsty. They're hungry. They're desperately seeking for some truth, for some, for some, you know, something that's actually going to mean something in their heart. So right after that, so I'm, I'm encouraging all these people. So those of you that have prayed that you've laid down your life, God wants you to know, here's what I said to those people. God wants you to know that the seeds you have planted, the time that you've put into this, that you are part of this revival that's coming to America, that you have a part in it. So all of you that have prayed, that have laid down your life, you have a part in it. Heaven knows. Heaven knows the seeds you've sown, the tears you've cried, the, the times you've prayed, the times you've been on your knees. Heaven knows. You know, people may not know, guys, but when it's all over and when it's all done, it's what heaven knows that's going to matter. It's what Jesus knows that's what's going to matter. It's what the books of remembrance have written about you that's what's going to matter, and that's where the rewards are going to come from. So I want you guys to be encouraged tonight. This is to encourage you guys. After I prophesied, that this downpour is a sign that God has heard us and that he is bringing revival to America. Now, I've never had a dream like this before. I was just, I was just blown away when I woke up from this, guys. Hey, Beth, I was just so saturated with the glory of God, guys, in my room, in my bedroom, when I woke up from this dream and the glory was on me so strong and I was just started weeping in the glory because I knew that God was answering it, that he was confirming to me. May the Holy Spirit touch you in Jesus' name. And then after that, I began to walk and talk with my dad and another revivalist that believes that revival is coming to America. We began to walk and talk, and we went to this garden, guys, and there was a circular garden. In the middle of this circular garden was a garden full of red strawberries. And guys, circle represents covenant. The strawberries represent love, romance, fruit, right? The fruit of our labors. God has heard. He will bring revival to America. Now, guys, look at this. In James 5, 18, it says, you know, Elijah, in verse 17, it talks about Elijah, how he was a man to subject to like passions as we are. He prayed that it would not rain. And then it didn't rain for three and a half years. We know that. Then in verse 18, Elijah prayed again. And the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her Fruit. Guys, I had forgotten about that scripture 
I don't remember the last time I read that scripture. And so after I had that dream about rain, I looked up scriptures that had rain in it and I found that and I said, oh my goodness, look at this. In my dream, the Lord downpoured rain. I began to prophesy this is a sign that he is bringing revival to America. And then I'm talking with my dad who is a prayer warrior. He's given his whole life to pray. He's given his whole life to pray into this. And then I'm talking with him and another revivalist. We're surrounding the circular garden of fruit because after we prayed guys the heavens going to give rain and the earth brings forth her fruit so i hope this is exciting to you today because i can't stop thinking about it you know we believe the lord we believe that he's going to do this in the pouring out but when he gives me a prophetic dream like that there's no way i could have thought up that kind of a dream when he gives me a dream like that I know that he's confirming to us. And guys, I feel just so thankful and grateful. And I'm still fasting and praying. But I'm fasting as in a celebratory, like excited. I'm honoring God and worshiping him through the fast. That this revival is coming. That this awakening is coming. That now really is the time, guys. If we're ever to get excited about a time where the Holy Spirit's going to move in the in the former and latter reigns. Guys, this is the latter reigns. And Lord, to confirm and to, to confirm it, the Lord... Uh, I just prompted me like, hey, I should look and see if there's anything going on in the natural. Um, like I saw this rain in the spirit because I'm wondering if literally he is going to downpour rain as a natural sign that he's going to confirm it like literally. So I looked online and on the news and just researched flooding, you know, and raining. And I realized that right now there is historic flooding going on. It's broken records. Um, there's flooding going on across Wisconsin. And is it was no Missouri. I'm sorry, Missouri. And there's flooding going on in Arkansas and there's uh, in New York and I know there's more places but guys there's been downpour of rain right now literally in the natural and I've prayed for the families I know people have been hurt I know that it's been crazy and I always hate that I don't want to see families you know lose people that they love so we pray for peace for those families but I believe guys that it is a confirmation that it is the latter rains we are actually in a season of you know every year there is an early rain that softens the ground so that the seed can go in and I believe we've been in years of that that there's been like this early rain where there's been some pouring out Holy Spirit there's been spots of revival here and there right and people are starting to become open to the moving of the Holy Spirit even more and more and more and even on the streets, people becoming open to us. You know, we minister to them. They get hit and blasted by the glory of God. They experience something they've never felt before. They get healed. Tumors fall off. Lumps fall off. Their legs grow out. They have a real encounter with power. And yeah, it is. It's crazy that they have this encounter and they realize, my God, there is something real out there that I've never experienced before. And guys, this is happening. The early rains were like January, February in the natural. We are literally in the outpouring of the latter rains right now. Then I have that dream two days ago, and God is confirming his word. He confirms with signs and wonders, you know. And to confirm that this is a revival coming to America and that this is going to happen, there's going to be a confirmation, guys. If you will look to Israel and look, look at the news um, to Israel this summer. We believe it's going to be this summer in August, around August time, that something's going to happen to confirm because this is the 50-year Jubilee um, celebration of the victory of the Six-Day War where Israel got back their, um, they got back ownership of Jerusalem and they got back ownership of the Western Wall and they received their rights back 50 years ago. And we believe you're going to see something in the heavens. Monday believes the meteor shower is going to happen. There's going to be signs in the heavens. We're going to see something happen to confirm that God is bringing another great awakening greater than the Jesus movement which happened right after Israel uh, won the six day war don't tell me that Israel getting blessed doesn't bless the world because Israel wins the six day war then the Jesus movement exploded that same summer in 1967 50 years ago thousands of people come out of religion come out of seminary come out of schools, come out of all this stuff, and they go after God. They want a true experience, not something they've been shown by religion or shown by anything they've seen before. They wanted a real supernatural experience with a real God. And we are going to see it again. I don't care who you are. I don't care. You're not safe from this outpouring that's going to happen. Nobody's safe from it. Like He's, he's literally going to pour out his spirit over the world 
and over the now of course it's people's choice if they want to receive him or not but they're going to have they're going to have encounters people are going to have encounters even skeptical people are going to have encounters the things are going to happen to people like they'll be frozen they'll go out in trances uh you know heaven will draw them up and they'll have an experience and no one is safe we are found god the word says that those that haven't even sought after him are found of him. So I want you guys to get excited during this time that people are going to get set free, healed, full of love, have an encounter with God and have eternal salvation. And it's going to be wonderful. So if you guys, listen, we're going to be out on the streets. We've gotten open doors in, in the media and the secular arena. We're going to be literally Monday and I and others going out on the streets during the summer, uh, a, a lot during the summer, but we're doing this on an ongoing basis. And, um, you know, we are, we are supporting this ourselves. And if you guys want to be part of that and partner with it, you can go to contagiouslove.com. Somebody can type that on the screen and you guys can partner with us one time. You can partner with us monthly and you can receive, you know, um, updates from us, join our newsletter and stay you know involved with us and we pray for our partners individually we support you guys we pray for you and we're very thankful you know for anything that you guys do and help us with but continue praying there's the website continue on our 40 days of fasting and prayer you guys that are with me on this and let's thank heaven let's thank heaven he has heard us guys let me tell you this one scripture okay and then I'll let you go that I love this because it says Okay, where is it? It's right here. Okay, here it is. Ask of the Lord. Okay, this is Zechariah 10, verse 1. It says, Ask you of the Lord, reign in the time of the latter rain. So this is what we're going to continue prophesying and declaring to the atmosphere in agreement with heaven, bringing it to earth. God, we ask for the rain, the latter rain glory to release upon our earth in Jesus' name. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field guys verse 6 says and I will strengthen the house of Judah that's the house of praise I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off for I am the Lord their God and will hear them God said he will hear us. We're going to see a massive, massive outbreak of Holy Spirit also in Israel this summer. And we're going to see many, many, many more Messianics. I know it's already exploding. It's already starting to happen. But there's going to be a huge, huge movement of, of Messianic, of secular Jews and uh, regular Jews, uh, Hasidic Jews, every type of Jewish person. And the Lord is opening their eyes to their Messiah. And there's going to be a huge explosion this summer. And it's going to be so exciting, guys. And here we are. And those of you that have prayed, God wants you to know that you have part of the seed, where you have planted the seeds in the ground. So I want you to get excited. You're part of the harvest. Every seed that you've sown, every prayer that you've prayed, you are part of it. And we're going to have reward. The fruit of our labors is coming. It's here, the strawberry fruit. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Beth, it's exciting. Okay, I love you guys. That's it, and if you want more detail at all, you know, you just go back and watch it again or go to our website. I'm also going to write up a thing on it, write up an article on it to give you some more detail and background. And also, we have a fresh article out on our website about how the 50-year jubilee of the Jesus movement and the Six-Day War, what that means, and all the history and the detail, and it's very, very good. Uh, Monday and I wrote it together, so you can go on our website, contagiousloveintl.com. The link's in my bio. And you can read that fresh article. We just wrote it and put it out there this week. So awesome, awesome, awesome. They featured it in charismanews.com as well. And you can read it there. And yay. Okay, I love you guys. Yes, we're going to continue playing for Trump. That's, that's right. America's becoming great again. That's part of God's plan. He's definitely one of the seeds that God has planted to bring forth fruit. So we're continuing to pray for him. And we're going to target that more. So Lord, I just bless everybody watching. I just seal this word by the Holy Spirit.